Wednesday past, the Feast of All Souls Day, our beloved in Christ, Canon Warren Harold Roll, departed this life, age 81. Faithful soldier of the cross, devoted priest and family man, educator par excellence. And so today, as we begin this service, I shall light a candle in his memory in the space that he sat here at St. Agnes. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Today is All Saints Sunday. We especially remember the saints and martyrs of the Caribbean. And today is also Governor General's Volunteer Sunday. So we prepare our hearts now to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, open, all eyes are open, and from you no sins are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you. And worthy of my divine holy name, through Christ. together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, 
that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns to one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, bless all who, following in his footsteps, especially those responding to the Governor General's volunteer program, give themselves to the service of others, that with love, wisdom, patience, and courage, they may minister in Jesus' name to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy. For the love of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated now as we have the chairman of Volunteer Bahamas, Mr. Casino, read our first letter. Thank you. Reading from the Word of God, written in the first epistle to Peter, chapter 4, verses 7 through 11. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, Serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord.
Not so among you. Instead, whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man comes not to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Then they came to Jericho, and as he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and to shout and say, Jesus! Son of David, have mercy on me. Then he sternly rebuked him to be quiet. But he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And he called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, please let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he recognized his sight and followed him this is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Testing.
differences Yet look how we're the same We love to laugh, to dream our dreams We know the sting of pain From Leningrad to Lexington The farmer loves his land And daddies all get misty-eyed to give their daughters hands Oh, maybe when we realize how much there is to share We'll find so much in common to pretend it isn't name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Some words from the gospel story for today. St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 10 verses 43 and 44. Whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever will be first among you must be slave of all. Today we come in God's house to celebrate the heroes of our church the heroes of our world. And we come to celebrate the saints of God, 
in our land, in our region, and throughout the entire world. The church, in her wisdom, decided many centuries ago to have a special day when we celebrated our heroes, All Saints Day. It is a time for us to pause and to give God thanks for the tremendous examples exhibited by so many. So many that it is described as a cloud of witnesses that no one can number. All around the throne of God, giving him praise and glory. Today we also come on this All Saints Sunday in a very fitting manner. And it must have been the Holy Spirit that directed the affairs of the meeting when we decided this was the Sunday to celebrate our Volunteer Bahamas Day, month. Volunteer Bahamas is an initiative that His Excellency, the Governor General, has placed before us to do none other but the work of the saints, the work of those of us, all of us, who are called to be saints of God, to love and to serve one another. It is also the Sunday when we come in the ending part of our renewal weekend, our discovery weekend in our Anglican church. When we come to refresh ourselves, to remind ourselves of our duty to God and our duty to one another. And so today we are extremely blessed to celebrate all of these wonderful things. Jesus, you see, calls his disciples. He calls them together and he tells them. He makes it abundantly clear that they are to have different standards, different standards of what greatness means in his kingdom. And that the standards of his kingdom are different from the ordinary things that were taking place in his world at that time. You see, the kingdoms of the world, their standards of greatness is power. The standards of the world were greed and control. The test was, how many people will you control? How many persons, how many servants will be to your beck and call? How many people will you be able to impose your will upon? Not very long after Jesus' time, there was a Roman emperor, Galba, and he summed up the heathen idea of kingship and greatness when he said that now that he was the emperor, he could do what he liked, he can do what he liked to anyone, anything he wanted he could do. But my friends, in the eyes of our Savior, greatness comes in service. Greatness comes in volunteering and volunteerism. Greatness is not reducing other men to one service, but rather in, redu and in re re reducing oneself in the service of others and volunteering to serve each and every day. The test is not what service can I extract but rather what service and volunteerism
can I give? The trouble in the human situation is this, that men wish to do as little as possible, but receive as much as possible for doing it. It is only when we are filled with the desire to put into life more than we take out of life, that life becomes meaningful, joyful, and happy, and indeed precious. The poet Kipling wrote Mary's Son. This poem gives us advice on the kind of spirit in which a man must work. This is what Kipling said. If you stop to find out what your wages will be and how they will clothe and feed you, Willie, my son, don't go out to sea, for the sea will never need you. And he continues, if you ask for the reason of every single command and argue with the people about you, Willie, my son, don't you go to the work the land, for the land will do better without you. And if you stop to consider the work that you have done and to boast of what you have done in labor, in worth, dear angels may come for you, Willie, my son, but you'll never be wanted on this earth again. My friends of St. Agnes, my friends of the Bahamas, our business as Christians is service. Our business as followers of Jesus Christ is to volunteer. There is a wonderful prayer that goes like this. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as thou deservest, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, save that of knowing that we do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Dean Thomas Leslie Weatherhead, the last English Dean of Christ Church Cathedral taught us that prayer. And I always uses, use it each and every day to remind myself that we are but servants of God. You see, Jesus is the answer. He is the example. He gave his life as a ransom for us all. We heard the gospel story today. And I could just imagine, I can imagine Jesus teaching his disciples. And then right after going to Jericho, and <laughs> you hear all the commotion and everything else. And I can imagine blind Bartimaeus, this fella, blind, haven't seen. And what, what, what's going on? Boy, listen here, Jesus coming. Jesus coming. Blind Bartimaeus, jump up. Jesus! Jesus! Have mercy on me. You, 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 could, you could imagine that emotion. This fellow hasn't seen in his lifetime. And he is begging Jesus. All the crowd making noise. Everybody, listen, boy. Go, you, go shut up, boy. Jesus passing. You're making noise. Boy. Go, go sit down. Sit down. You nobody want to talk to you. You old beggar, sit down. But that hard, eh? That hard. He just jump up. He didn't care about who's telling this. Father, tell him, sit down. Listen, I ain't checking for Father. Jesus! Jesus, have mercy. The, the loudest he could say, Jesus heard him. Who, who's that? Who is that? Wait! The man calling you, but go ahead, you better go. The man calling you. Jesus said, what can I do for you? Lord, 
that I may receive by sight. Hmm? Powerful. Jesus said, go, go. And he received his sight. Service about above self. Service. Love in action. Hmm? And you could almost see the joy that unspeakable. I could see. I could see. My friends, your acts of kindness, your service to others, you don't know how much that means to those individuals. Some of them may never say thank you, but I know that in their hearts, there is joy. Even when Jesus healed those 10 lepers, only one came back to say thank you. But can you imagine that they were cleansed? No more leprosy, no more eaten disease, eating up your skin. Huh? You can imagine that? It's power in service. That's what it is, power in service. When you think of others before you think of yourself, when you reach out and touch the lives of others, it makes no sense, church, if we are only going to keep church. The action is on the streets of the Bahamas, through Peter Street, through Inyo's Corner, all down the road through Ross Corner. That's where the action is. Not in St. Agnes sucking up the air condition. BPL going up anyhow. <laughs> we need action on the streets. But it got to come from where? From within. I said to the, the, the beautiful young lady who interviewed me before the service, I said, you know something? I knew as a young person, and I ain't that old, Growing up in this Bahamas, when there was no ministry of social services, none, but everybody was taken care of. Every person had something to eat. Every person was housed. Everyone was given healing. You know why? Because we served one another. We cared for one another. Now we say the government got to do this. The government got to do that. Yes, the government needs to do, but we got to do. Every one of us has something. When you come around, you say, I ain't got nothing, Father. You live in. You live in. You can help with your hands. You can help with your words of encouragement to that lonely soul who you could pick up the phone. You text and text and get in other people's business all blessed day. The young people all, you can't even read. They're on the phone. Tell somebody you love them. Some old soul that hasn't had a phone call, let them know that you care. We need to serve one another. And to volunteer. Years ago, any time we needed something done for a neighbor, we went and did it. That's how we built the houses all through the grove here. Come on, you went to Mr. Kelly. Huh? Let me talk this now. You went to Mr. Kelly, you got your little your little thing, and then you brought your lumber home, and everybody and everybody came together and we built the homes. Families came together, made a difference. Carpenters and masons, we all helped one another. Today, man, I need something. I ain't coming down there. Or sometimes it was only, only a, a, a pot of sauce or, or, or a pot of soup on a Saturday. The same way how Father Thompson built this parish hall. Everybody, a woman, them come and they cook. And everybody came and volunteered, not a penny spent on labor because it was us who did it today. 
I call somebody, they come say, Father, now this is my bill. I say, Jesus paid it all. <laughs> they look at me and laugh. Say, Father, you trouble. I say, yeah, I have plenty trouble. <laughs> but you understand where I'm coming from, friends? We were a community. And so as we come today to reflect and to, to, to look at the saints as examples, as we come to celebrate our heroes, as we look at the life of Canon Roll, who is this, this, this candle here? Hmm? Canon Roll, uh, uh, Keith, uh, you know, <laughs> I need you. Um, I say, Canon, what do you need me for? Well, you know, I have somebody. I need you to help. I say, well, Canon, I, a little short right now. He said, the Lord will provide. <laughs> But I, I need you, Keith, to, to help them. Uh, this is the number. <laughs> what I can say to my teacher? I got to do it. I got to find it. Hmm? Humility, eh? Hmm? We in St. Agnes, we know all the things. Yes. Somebody said, well, you know, I didn't know two priests. Archdeacon Thompson and Canon Roll. I say, well, what about me? They say, well, you just reach. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm working on it. <laughs> Father Strong working on it too. Because that kind of love, eh? That's in the people's head, eh? You got to understand this. Because of service, all those years, going to serve, and always willing to give, and not to count the cost. If only we could give more. And the more we give, the more we will be blessed. I tell people when they come here, they, you know, they, they spend all kind of money all night, Saturday night, whatever. But when they come, they want to tip God a dollar. I say, shame on yourself. Even the bartender, you give a little five dollars too after you had a night. Are you coming and giving God a dollar? What kind of foolishness is this? Huh? You gotta be free in helping. You know the church money go in to help somebody. You know that. And so we have to do our best. And do our best in loving God. Serving him. And then the best thing, eh? What Jesus did, he went on that cross. And died for us. No greater love hath no man than this, than to give the life for his friends. We are Jesus' friends. And he loves us dearly. And he, he didn't just preach it, you know. He lived it. So that night before he died, he took off his overcoat and them toe jam, foot of them, the disciples, the 12 of them, full of toe jam. You think, you think I'm joking, eh? They had no tar road and they walk with sandals. Come on, church. You all know what I'm talking about. You know how the dirt is get up in between your toes and things? Walking about the place. Jesus took and washed. Peter said, no, 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 no. I got to wash your feet. He said, listen here, Peter. You do. i showing you something here. I'm showing you something. So that you will learn what it means to be a Christian. Wash every last one of them. The dirty foot. When Monday, Thursday come, Father got to, the priest got to wash the feet. Some of the priests don't do it, you know. But I can't smell no house, so they don't bother me. <laughs> I can hardly hear these days, too. But I, I have great fun in washing the, the, the feet of the people. All kind of different toes. And some people say, Father, my foot too stick. I say, child, don't worry about that. I got one little perfume right here. I can rub you down with. <laughs> because we are leaders, eh? And we got to serve. Got to help out one another. So practice volunteering. Don't let the governor general be sad. To say we ain't following, trying to help, following Jesus. That's what he's trying to ask us to do. To follow Jesus. 
is what it's all about. And service is love. And love is service. And you and I have to be great. Great in the Lord's work. This is the Lord's day. This is the Lord's doing. Be marvelous. Marvelous in his eyes. Marvelous. So I want you to sing and to thank God for this beautiful day. Recommit yourselves to service. Get out there and spread that message of God's love. But not only talk it, walk it and, and, and show it in your actions. And don't come back looking for no money. Don't come back looking for none. Ain't none here for you. Guess the Minister of Finance may give me a, a good a good congratulations when he hear that. <laughs> Everything the government wants to money, 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 put it on the table first, because you all don't pay. Why you need let it let me do something for the community? Let me help. You see what happened when Dorian came? Hmm? The Lord touched the hearts of all them people. You see what happened? He hadn't, you can't wait on no government. Get out there on your, your jet ski. Rescue those people. Go in your high truck. I saw the people, the fellas in Long Island, when after walking, them fellas, he ain't got no crane, you know. Crane? Man, them fellas. And they turned red, red, red. They grabbed them poles, them big lamp poles, and they dig the hole, and they bury the poles, and platted every one of them. Put that electricity back on. Ain't nobody had no, no pay. They did it by their hands. Their own sweat and blood. And they made sure that their school was fixed. Clean out everything. Paint it up. Fix it up. Put air conditioning. The whole nine yards. Not a penny. That's the spirit I'm talking about. That's what we need in St. Agnes. That's what we need in this grand town, this Bain town, this our people. These are people we needed more than ever before. So, friends, what Jesus say? If you want to be great, you go be slave of all. You don't like to hear that word, you know. But it's true. You gotta serve if you want to be great. The Lord be with you. believe in one God.
cleansed in the blood of the Lamb and in one communion with the saints of every time and place, let us offer our prayers to God who loves us by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God throughout the world, that the Lord may confirm it in faith, hope, and love, following the example of Jesus to serve and build up the spirit of volunteerism in our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our country in every sphere, that they may by their example encourage our people to live a life of service above self as Jesus did, and that they build up our nation in unselfish love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for organizations within the fellowship of the body of Christ, that their work may edify the people of God and be a faithful witness to the gospel of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges, magistrates, and all who would minister justice, that in all things they may seek to do your will and to protect the rights and freedom of your people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. To the poor, the hungry, the unemployed, and all victims of persecution and discrimination of any kind, may God in Christ help us to bring relief, justice, and protection as we all serve our communities in love as volunteers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. To all who suffer now from pain and disease, from human discomfort and misery, May God in Christ bring healing and joy for the renewal of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may use aright the fullness of the earth, that our pursuits in science and the advancement of our skills may ever be in service of that true humanity which is created in the image of God let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that we may never become slaves of money or of lust for power, but rather strive to serve through volunteerism in love. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that with all, with all who belong to the communion of saints, both living and departed, we may ever rejoice in the blessed assurance of that hope which has been won for us in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage, we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are sorry and repent of all our sins. Grant that we may serve you. Mighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. Good morning, everyone. Today is the All Saints Sunday. It is also the Sunday at the beginning of the month of November that the Prime Minister has designated Volunteerism Month. We welcome His Excellency the Governor General and we welcome the Chairman, Mr. Consino, and the members of the committee for the Governor General's Volunteer Bahamas program. Let us welcome our Governor General and the committee members. We also would like to welcome each and every one of you who are worshiping with us today, who are visitors. Welcome to St. Agnes. We hope that this experience will be of some special spiritual benefit to you. God bless you, and please take our love and greetings home to your families. I also would like to say that we have this coming Wednesday a special series in our Zoom Bible study led by His Grace Archbishop Gomez on baptism as the gateway to Holy Communion, and you can get the coordinates from in our bulletin, please. This afternoon at 3.30, we'll have our closing service for our renewal weekend. And that is at 3.30. We are all expected, St. Agnes people, to be back here for 3.30. There will be no evening service this evening at 6 o'clock because of that special service. All of our practices are at the usual times, except for our usher board meeting this Thursday at 6 o'clock. Please let us also remember that Harvest Thanksgiving Sunday is on the 20th of November at the 7 o'clock and the 10.30 service. And our Living Legends Luncheon will be on the, the Sunday, the 4th of December at the Bahama Ballroom at 1 o'clock. Our contributions to all the tickets is $70. And those of us, please let us make sure that we try our best to share with those who may not be able to afford quite $70. Let's see whether we can reach out and touch other people's lives. Please let us remember those who are sick and suffering, especially we remember those in hospital. We remember our sister, Mrs. Rosalie Dillette, and we remember our sister Patrice Knowles and our brother John Taylor and also our brother Earl Thompson. Let us remember them all in our prayers. And also those who are sick and shut in as well. Then we remember those celebrating birthdays today and this week, those celebrating anniversaries at this time as well. On the Saturday coming, which is the 12th, we will have a lovely retreat at the St. John's College Auditorium in Stapleton Gardens, and it is being sponsored by our ladies group, the ACW. We are all invited, not just the women, but all of us are invited to join in the retreat from 9 o'clock until 2 o'clock, right there at St. John's College. This morning after the service, our sister Michelle Fox will be signing up those who would like to join. We have quite a number of persons who have already signed up, but I'm sure there are others who might wish to come and to continue in prayer and meditation as we go through this special time. So that's this coming Saturday from 9 until 2. And of course, all of the other notices are in the bulletin. Let's please take note of them. And um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'd like now um, to invite um, His Excellency, the Governor General, to speak to us. And I'd like to invite the chairman of our group to stand next to him as we have His Excellency speak to us. Let us please stand and welcome our Governor General.
Pray be seated. Archdeacon Cartwright, assistant curate, members of the vestry, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I, along with the committee members of the Governor General Volunteer Bahamas, are very pleased to join you in worship at this beautiful historic church of St. Agnes. The Prime Minister of the Bahamas has proclaimed the month of November as Volunteer Bahamas Month. And today, we've come to join in worship with you and to officially launch National Volunteerism Month. Now, Volunteer Bahamas is a nonprofit organization. It is registered under the Nonprofit Act of 2019, and it is managed by a board of directors and an advisory committee consisting of several subcommittees. I am pleased that your rector, Archdeacon Cartwright, is an active member on the advisory committee. <laughs> Volunteer Bahamas was established with the wisdom of inculcating, of inspiring, and of sustaining a culture of volunteerism throughout the Bahamas. Its mission is to identify, to encourage, and to celebrate those individuals and, and civic, religious, charitable organizations, associations, clubs, and groups, and individuals who contribute to a better Bahamas through volunteering their time, talents, resources, and their efforts to assist others without the expectation of any reward. It also serves as a national vehicle for building stronger and more caring communities where neighbors connect to one another, where neighbors help each other. My brothers and sisters, Bahamians are a giving people, and we should all be inspired by the hundreds of volunteer organizations and the thousands of Bahamians who are engaged daily in volunteerism and community service. Volunteer organizations such as the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, the numerous feeding organizations such as the Great Commission, Hands for Hunger, the Bahamas Feeding Network, and all others who feed, who clothe, and shelter the most vulnerable in our society. We should celebrate such groups like the Rotary Club, the Kiwanis Clubs, the Pilot Clubs, and many others who touch the lives of many Bahamians through the myriad of projects and programs that they provide. We should salute the many corporate and business organizations who provide funding to these nonprofit organizations to help those in need. Your own community outreach program in Baines and Grantstown are excellent examples of volunteerism in action, and I commend you uh, for your service. Now, brothers and sisters, Saturday, the 19th of November, will be recognized as National Community Volunteers Day throughout the Bahamas. And I invite the churches, the civic organizations, the fraternal and charitable groups throughout the Commonwealth of Bahamas to participate in a community project of their choosing on that day. Consider persons all over the Bahamas coming together wherever they are, in Grand Bahama, in Abaco, in Long Island, in whatever island, coming together on that day to do something for their neighbors. What a message of love and hope and care 
that we will be sending throughout this nation. I invite you to participate. I also extend a special invitation to each of you to, to attend our recognition and award ceremony on November the 22nd, at which time we will recognize ind individuals and our organizations from across the length and breadth of the Commonwealth of Bahamas for their extraordinary service to the nation. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we live in a world which calls for hope, for peace, for light, and love. More than ever before, we need to be our brother's keepers. And so, I encourage you to follow the lesson learned from the parable of the Good Samaritan. I need not go into that. You all know and are familiar with the story of how the Good Samaritan, seeing his fellow traveler in need, gave freely of his time, of his talent, and of his money to assist the injured traveler. He gave of his time by delaying his own journey in order to attend to the man's injury. He gave of his talent by bandaging up the wounds and he gave of his treasure by paying for the lodging and food of the injured person. The Good Samaritan never ever expected any reward in return. This is volunteerism in action. I am excited as to the potential and possibilities of Volunteer Bahamas. I am confident that once executed, it will yield positive results both to the receiver as well as to the giver. Speaking about the joys of volunteerism, one volunteer once remarked that we do not accept pay for what we do because what we do is priceless. Let me thank you for your prayers, your support, and may God bless each of you, and may he bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Thank you.
offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass, praying for the unity of the Church, an increase of vocation to the sacred priesthood and religious life in our parish and in our diocese, for the peace and welfare of the world and for an end to acts of violence and intolerance, and for the work of the Governor General's volunteer program. And we offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass, giving thanks to God for the witness and work of Warren Harold Rolls, priest, praying that God would grant him a place of light, refreshment, and peace, together with all who have gone before us with the sign of faith. The Lord be with you. and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For in the saints you have given us an example of godly living, that rejoicing in their fellowship, we may run with perseverance the race that is set before us, and with them receive the crown of glory. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. holy and glorious Father, our Creator God, we give you thanks because in your loving wisdom you brought all things into being and are truly worthy of praise from every creature you have made. Again and again we have turned away from you, yet in every age your steadfast love has called us to return, to live in union with you, for it is your eternal purpose to put new life into all things and make them holy. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who took our human nature upon him. You have redeemed the world from the bondage of sin. And by the power of your Holy Spirit, you have gathered the people to yourself to make known in every place his perfect offering, which he made to the glory of your name. Hear us, therefore, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and grant that these gifts of bread and wine may be unto us his body and blood. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me.
after supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Proclaim the mystery of our faith. And so, Heavenly Father, rejoicing in his holy incarnation, his blessed passion, and his perfect sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection from the dead, his glorious ascension into heaven, and looking for his coming in glory, we offer to you this bread and this cup. We pray that you will accept this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving and grant that all who eat and drink of the body and blood of your Son, our great High Priest, may be renewed by your Holy Spirit and be one body, one spirit in him. Let faith and love increase in us Unite us with all bishops, all other ministers of your word and sacrament, and with the whole people of God, living and departed, whom you have made for yourself. Confirm us in holiness, that we may be found ready to join the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Apostles, St. Peter, St. Paul, St. John the Baptist, St. Agnes our patron, St. Edmund, St. Jerome, St. John Vianney, the saints and martyrs of the Caribbean, and all your saints, when our Lord Jesus Christ comes again, forever giving you thanks and praise through him from whom all good things do come. With him and in him and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, in songs of everlasting praise. Savior has taught us, so we pray. to share in the body of Christ. Oh, the, the, 
gifts of God for the people of God.
anymore now. I have decided to follow Jesus. Is that true? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Yeah. 29. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and truth and gentleness. of the Lord brought glad tidings to Mary. said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord.
Mother of God. Let us pray, for forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. <laughs> 